As we gather together today to pause, to ponder and to pray, may God's light fill us with hope. Amen. Yesterday we heard the sad news that Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II had died. This is a very sad time for many people across the country and the entire Commonwealth. So today we take time to pause and to remember all that she has done for the world that we live in today. I know that for many of you will have memories of celebrating Queen Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee with parties earlier this year. And during this time, you would have learned so much about her life and her reign as our Queen. So let's pause now and take a moment to remember all the things that she has done and that you learned about her. We also take time to remember the royal family as they grieve and mourn their loss of a mother, a grandmother and a great grandma. We pray that they will know God's peace at this difficult time. We especially pray for her son Charles as he takes on the responsibility of being the new king. So now let us take some time together to pray. If you would like to pray the prayer and make it your own, then join in with the words that will appear on the screen. Let us pray. Gracious God, we give thanks for the life of your servant, Queen Elizabeth. For her faith and her dedication to duty. Bless our nation as we mourn her death. And may her example continue to inspire us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. <laughs> 